because what a clitoris or see i'm going to be as open as possible like that this is something that a lot of people shy away from when you have to be talking about things like this that has to do with sex that has to do with your body and all of that people tend to shy away from it people do not even want to talk about it because society has made sex and you know the urge for sex look like a scene hey fam i'm so happy to you know be here again after kind of like a long time but i'm happy like today we are going to be delving into a very important topic like we're going to be gisting is something that people shy away from but i believe that there are a lot of things that we can actually learn from this topic so guys i'm going to be um you know sharing my thoughts about this and the little knowledge i have about this the effects the 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 things that you know people that are victims of this particular um female genital mutilation as in the effect of people that are victims of female genital mutilation and how it can be you know managed and controlled for those that are already victims and how we can you know kind of avoid it you know so all oh, those are the things that we're going to be gisting about on this video today i know that a lot of people are affected i know of quite a lot of people that were victims of female genital mutilation and it is really affecting them so i just feel it is something we should you know talk about right so guys if you're just seeing my face for the very first time you're highly welcome to this channel on this channel i do more of storytelling i do vlogging lifestyle faith and i share knowledge generally everything that i have been privileged to know or experience i come out here and share it with you guys because i know that it will eventually be something that we all will learn from so guys let's move into the gist of today and our topic is female genital mutilation i don't want this video to be very long i will try my best to just go straight to the point and if you know something about it you can you know drop it in the comment section one of us can learn from it i do not know everything you know so i too can also learn from it you understand so if you know anything about female genital mutilation that you feel that i didn't talk about or i didn't uh, kind of trash in this video you can drop it in the comment section if you have questions concerning this you can as well drop it in the comments section and then those people those of us that know something about it can you know i'll reply to every message as, as much as i can and respond to every question that i get consigning this topic right so let's just talk about it some of you might be wondering what is female genital mutilation is as if i'm even speaking english here right female genital mutilation is what we all know as circumcision that is what everybody knows it to be i think it's no longer a practice all over the world but there are some places there are some um there are some regions in the world that still practice female genital mutilation that still practice female circumcision right everybody knows what circumcision is okay when a child is giving birth to a male child is circumcised that is the practice but they still go ahead to you know circumcise female child now this circumcision has to do with the cutting off of the lady's clitoris i'm looking for a way to you know talk about this um in a way that everybody will understand it in a layman language right so that even if you do not know about it or you've never heard of it with my exam with, with my explanation sorry i'm talking too fast <laughs> i'm a fast talker but i'll try to be slow so with my explanation i believe that um you'll be able to understand what it is now female circumcision how it's been done it's a process where the clitoris is cut off because these circumcisions are done by different nurses or different persons let me use that word i don't want to use the word nurses because in some places it's not a nurse or a doctor that does that in some countries or in some religion for some people it's a traditional thing like it's part of their tradition it must be done even though um medical medically or even though health generally has said female circumcision should not be done but some 
regions still practice it so it's like a tradition for them and some of our parents of old that did these things to us because there are a lot of ladies that are victims of it already even though a lot of them are in their homes like as married women quite a number of young girls too now were still victims of female circumcision they have you know um good intentions our parents of old that did say female circumcision for us they had you know our good intentions for doing that to them they feel like they are protecting their female child because what a clito resource see i'm going to be as open as possible like that this is something that a lot of people shy away from when you have to be talking about things like this that has to do with sex that has to do with your body and all of that people tend to shy away from it people do not even want to talk about it because society has made sex and you know the urge for sex look like a sin right it is not a sin for married people it is something that should be talked about because some women are you know depressed by a result of this and they cannot really talk about it because they do not even know how to start talking about it without looking like they are corrupt and they are carnal in their thinking and all of that so i'm going to try my best to be open so that somebody can learn from this now this is it what the clitoris does one of the functions of the clitoris with my own knowledge i'm not a doctor i'm not a biologist i'm not a um what is it because the microbiologist or i'm not anything right i'm just speaking based on the information i know based on the knowledge that i have concerning this i am open to correction you understand if there are places where i made a mistake and you're a medical practitioner or you know more about this and you're in the medical field you can as well correct me in the comment section but i'm just here to share my knowledge concerning this and i hope that we all learn from it <clears throat> excuse me so one of the functions of clitoris for a lady that is where orgasm starts from it is a place where a woman easily gets to you know gets orgasm in sense of text in <laughs> in terms of sex like that is where a woman's orgasm starts from that the, the job of a clitoris what clitoris does right if it is funded if it is funded over time it makes a woman wet it takes her to cloud nine <laughs> even as i'm talking about it like i feel some kind of way you know but i'm just gonna spill spill it how it is so our parents of old they do this um circumcision thing to cut off the clitoris so that it will reduce the rate at which a woman is honey let me use that word so that it will reduce the rate at which a woman feels the hodge to want to have sex now our parents of old did that because they do not want their daughters to be you know become a prostitute or maybe get pregnant out of wedlock or that once that urge come they are unable to control it and you know it makes them probably getting pregnant during their young age so that is the reason why our parents of who did that for female children which is a good um, intention you understand they do not have a bad intention for doing that but then again the circumstances or the effects that comes by removing that clitoris by circumcising the ladies is quite much and is something that is affecting a lot of marriages of today right i think that was one of the reasons why world health organization you know came up with a law that female circumcision should no longer be a practice because it is destroying a lot of homes where you're married and have you are you in this are you in a marriage or you discovered as a lady you, you see when people are talking about this sex sex thing is sounding strange to you that you don't even feel anything when you're having sexual intercourse with your spouse you don't even feel um there's when you okay this thing they say like they say cloud nine you, you, you don't even know what it feels like to be there you don't get honey there's nothing like orgasm you're just there oh, i'm not enjoying anything sure just do your thing and go you get so those are one of the effects of um female genital mutilation right and it is not really a good thing because for some men that are married to female that are married to 
circumcised ladies that do not know the effect of these some men they are not even aware that their wives were even circumcised except that the wife the the, the wife might have said it to them some men are not aware so they tend to be like ah. especially those men that as you know they've met other ladies before they eventually got married to you before they are now with you and their own um expression or their yeah that's what their expression and their response to sex is not the same with their partner they tend to wonder what is this one and sometimes things like this make men cheat on their wife because they don't get that satisfaction and they don't get that thing they want when they're having the sexual intercourse with their wife now this is not the fault of the woman it is because of the circumcision that was done on her and the effect is already in play so for some men that do not know about it they tend to feel like their wife is not normal they are normal human being like every other lady you have met in the past they are normal human beings but the effect of what has been done is what is happening to them you understand and that is not the only effect that um female genital mutilation causes on a lady there are quite a lot of other effects that it it, it causes for some women one of the effects that um this circumcision thing does to them it causes pain and difficulty in having sex for some women they don't they don't even want to you know um go into sex like they don't enjoy it they don't want to even get involved they don't like it because it's painful they end up having painful sex that is one of the effects of um female genital mutilation it also causes infection and you know repeated infection sometimes can lead to infertility it can lead to you know depression flashback for ladies that this thing was done to them at at a very advanced age i think in some cultures they do that when the lady is a little bit grown not from childbirth why some some um, cultures it is done while the child is i think six or seven days old but for some cultures these things are done when the lady is grown so imagine you being caught like they cut you cut that part of your body out as a grown-up lady the flashback it can lead to depression it can lead to you know some a little bit of low self-esteem these are some of the effects that you know um this circumcision thing does but my focus here on this video is just um on the effect of homes right so this is something that has happened right and it is a part of a woman's body that has been cut out you can't fix it back even though i think there's this thing they do now <laughs> i don't know what how it's been done if they you know like an artificial clitoris that will be added to a woman's body and then you know i don't really know if that is so effective but i think i've heard of stuff like that before but a part of a woman's body that has been cut out cannot be replaced for some persons they are cutting degrees because like i earlier said there are different people that does this so some people some female their cuts might be very deep that's the cutting out of the clitoris that might be completely cut out to the brim why some the degree is not 100 percent like a little you know a little part of the clitoris is still attached to the woman's body you get well, for some that are completely cut out they cannot even have orgasm at all they cannot even feel honey and even want to you know they can't even get to cloud nine but for some that their degree are not so deep they get there they get orgasm but it takes a little longer maybe with the continuous fondling of that part and you know trying to make her feel um feel good so a little bit longer time can make the lady get to orgasm and can also make the lady you know come mm, that's the word can also make the lady get to cloud nine right but for some that is completely cut out there is no how you can fix clitoris back into the woman's body because it is already out um now as i'm making this video i feel like i'm going to do a part two of this video because it's a very long topic and i don't want this video to be long so maybe in my part in the part two of this video i'm going to you know expand shades more on ways that it can be controlled ways that you can control you know the whole thing because it has gone out it has gone out. there's nothing you can do about it but it can be controlled
it can be managed i want to bring this video to an end now like i said we're going to have a part two of this video but i want it to be open to everyone here in the channel or as many persons that will come across this video i would love for you guys to go to the comment section and drop your opinions and drop your knowledge about this so that in the next part in the part two of this video i'm going to you know do like a combination of all because i do not know everything but i know there are a lot of women out there that are suffering this thing and women should be aware of this and the men also should be aware of this so in case you have a sister or you have a spouse or you have someone around you that is a victim of this they too will be able to learn and you also will be able to learn on how to, you know, control this thing. So I'm going to leave it open to anybody. Now, if you know anything concerning this, um, you, if you know anything concerning female genital mutilation, you can go ahead and, you know, drop it in the comment section. So in the next part of this video, we'll talk about how to control it and how to help victims of female genital mutilation. Now that you know, what it is and you know what causes it and you know the effect of it we need to enlighten the world so that they know about it and how to manage it i hope you find value in this video if you did please like this video if you haven't at this point and subscribe to this channel so you can be a member and a part of this amazing family drop a comment for me in the comment section i would really love to see your comments concerning this topic and until i see you again in the next part of this video remain blessed have a beautiful day bye